what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the action horror film Peninsula Train to Busan 2. Now this is a sequel to the 2016 film known as Train to Busan. Now I never got to see that film but I went and decided uh, well, I decided to go and check this one out. Now I was surprised at how much I really did enjoy this film. This is out without a question, probably one of the best zombie based films I have ever seen and I believe this is probably the best film I have seen this year so far and I can't believe it because of like, the subject matter that it's actually dealing with, it's like an action horror film you know but it still turned out to be like one of the best films I've seen you know as far as like in the zombie genre, especially as far as, as this year ago, I believe this is probably the best film I have seen this year. Now this is directed by I think Yeon Sang Ho, I think that's how you pronounce it and it's about like a soldier who was sent with this team to find out this truck full of money. I think it's like $2 million, if I'm not mistaken, in this area known as uh, what's in Korea, like in the uh, area known as uh, the Korean Peninsula. But the thing about it, this particular area is actually infected with like tons of zombies. And I think this happened like in the previous film. And see, I didn't see the previous film. So I, I kind of, I'm kind of lost there, you know. And I think that's how the area actually got affected with so many zombies. Because I guess that happened in the first film, you know. But this particular area is like infested with zombies, you know. And it's actually uh, where the truck that has like I think $2 million in it is located. So this guy is actually sunk there. With like a team, you know, to actually retrieve this money, and they have to deal with all these zombies and so on, you know, and also like other types of enemies too, like a rogue, Matilda, you know, and even like a family they come across to as well. Now I must admit, like I say, this film, like the pace of it is just like a sh like excellent. Like it never feels like dull. It doesn't really drag that much. Now it's a couple of moments where I feel like it was like just too much, you know. Especially like this is spoiler alert. Once you get towards the end, I feel like it kind of dragged on too long. Like whoa, we need to end this, you know. But it was like it was still like awesome, you know. And it's like very faint that moments like that are um, kind of there, you know. Where it's like dragging and things like very limited, you know. I thought the pace was good. The action scenes were awesome, you know. The zombies and songs, like a tons of them, you know. And I like how they have like their own like a uh, weak like elements too as well. Like they can't see that good at dark, you know. So you you know they, you can kind of hide from them like in the dark and so on, you know. But they hear like sound very good because there's like a lot of moments where they can like the heroes can shoot off like elements and some stuff like that, you know. They would draw the zombies into that, you know. They would hear the sound, they would go after that, you know. So I thought moments like that were pretty cool. Now the main character of the film is known as. Uh, I think John Seok, I think that's how you pronounce it, and he's played as played by Gang Dong Wan. So he's like the actual main character of the film, because the film does open with him like uh, taking I think his sister, family to like another location, you know, where they're safer. And this happens like on board like this like ship. Turns out once they're on the ship, one of the uh, passengers on the ship is like actually affected by the uh, zombie virus thing. And it kind of flip out and it turns like a zombie and they affect everybody on the ship, you know. So it's his sister, like, you know, and his family, like, where his sister, you know, herself, I think it was his sister, they get affected, you know, and all that kind of stuff, you know. Then it jumps, like, four years and it's like, you know, like, like later, you know. I don't know exactly when the film actually takes place, you know. So that's one of the things I'm kind of lost about, you know. I don't know exactly what year, you know, that it takes place in, you know. But apparently, like, this zombie apocalypse does happen, you know. In like this area known as the, the Peninsula, you know, I think that's where you pronounce the Peninsula, I keep forgetting, you know, kind of the name is actually trained to Bazaar, too, that's what they actually call it, too, trained to Bazaar, too, but yeah, this is basically like a zombie film, and I don't want to go into it too much, you know, because they're kind of sporting, but I thought like all the performances and characters, you know, I don't want to touch everybody, because it's kind of hard to pronounce their names, and plus, when I went and saw this at the theater, it was actually like in a, like a Korean language, it was like the language they were speaking was Korean, so I had to read the subtitles. And I was surprised that I was actually able to follow it so well, you know, I was actually I had to read everything as I'm watching everything going on too, and I was actually able to follow the film very well. So I think the guy did a good job on the direction of the film. I think the photography and cinematography of the film is like excellent, you know, it feels like creepy, you know, it feels almost kind of like a uh, futuristic, but not too much, and it feels at times like uh, 28 days later, it seemed kind of similar to that too at times, you know, but I was surprised at how good and entertaining it was for it to be like just a t typical like zombie like action horror film, you know, I was really surprised at that, you know, but I definitely recommend this for like fans of these kind of films, like I say, it's a straight up like action horror film, like it's very like, bloody and so on, but it's like a lot of action too, like fighting and so on, you know, and I don't want to spoil it, you know, 
then like I said the characters I thought the performances were pretty good you know so I definitely recommend it for fans of these kind of like a uh, horror action type films you know because it ain't just a straight up horror film it's like a lot of action in it too as well you know being it is like horror it's like a lot of like actually like shooting like fighting like this stuff you know punching and stuff so I definitely recommend it for that crew and like I said I was really surprised I didn't really think I would enjoy it this much so in the end I'm giving a um, Penasula but that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry, you know, Train to Busan too. And this is actually like the sequel to uh, Train to Busan, you know, which I didn't see. And I want to definitely see it. And I want to see the first one so bad now, you know. And I don't think they're actually connected, you know. They're actually like separate, like standalone films. But they actually are like, a, like the same, like a series of films. They're, they're directed by the same director, uh, Yeon Sang, who I think that's how you pronounce it. But in I'm giving this film a straight up A minus. I really did enjoy it a lot, you know. I think this is probably the best film I saw this year. And this is definitely one of the best like, zombie based horror films, but it's still action films I have ever seen. I really did enjoy it a lot. And I was surprised that I was able to follow it so well. Then I had to actually read all the English subtitles because they're speaking like that language, like a Korean language. I had to actually read it while I'm watching it, but it still was like entertaining. I was able to follow it and understand it well. The pacing was excellent, you know. So I'm giving this like a straight up A minus. I definitely recommend, like I said, for fans of this kind of genre, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe to as well.